load of geezers dressed in parkas who want you to carry on doing what it is they kind of missed out on. And it's an amazing thing when you see a next generation of Oasis fans and all that. And I respect that. And when I'm out and I'm touring, I play old stuff, you know, what I think they would like to hear. But when I go in the studio, I don't give a fuck what they want. I don't give a, I never, I never gave a fuck. I'd started Chasing Yesterday and I'd got to a point where I was happy with the songs and I'd done pretty good demos and I thought I'd get a producer and see if, if we can take it somewhere else. I arranged to meet him and I, I basically said, look, these tracks are done, there, there's no point, but I'd be really interested in doing a record if we started from scratch. He said, there's nothing for me to do, so I can't really get involved. And I was like saying to him, but, well, I really want to make a record with you. And he said, well, if you want to make a record, then come to Belfast and we'll, we'll start a record. And, uh, and I said, well, what can, do you want to hear some of the songs? And he said, don't bring any songs, any songs you've got left or written, I'm not interested in. And I said, so what are we going to do when we get there? And he said, well, you know, we'll kind of work it out. I had a, I had a guitar and a bag of effects pedals and that was it. But by that point, he'd sold over 70 million albums. He had made countless records, and I knew how he worked, which was like a classic singer-songwriter. And for me, there was no point in recording that way. At this point in his career, he needed to sort of work in a very different way. So I just started going through my archive of, of records and, and, and stuff that I've bought specifically for inspiration and just started putting together a whole series of loops, just directions that I thought there'd be a great jumping off point for him and he, he really responded well to them. We set up a bunch of his guitar pedals and literally just hit the record button. got some games together, some city matches. He'd be touring, he seems to be touring all the time, and taking breaks to do Who Built the Moon. So when I'd see him, he'd, he'd tell me how that was going, actually, and working with David. What he was describing the record as being, or his process with David, was obviously very different from what he was doing on the first two records. He was very enthusiastic about it, I think, very excited about uh, doing some, something in a different way. One thing I don't know if anyone talks about enough is how good Noel is as a guitarist. So that was really great. As an engineer, it's like everything's about the player. And, and Noel's really, really adept with the sonics. So, you know, everything that's on the album is pretty much what he did at the amp, not really anything afterwards. So he's really got a huge collection of guitar pedals and, and knows them all, which is like brilliant. And then can play and respond to them really, really well and with great time. So you get this sort of complete package sort of delivered to the mics which kind of makes it really very easy to record him. Every time I meet him I find out about all these new fantastic pedals because it's his addiction. I think it's sort of um, pedals sort of replaced his drug habit. The records that I've made previous to this have never required or I've never been inspired enough to really get into them and kind of seeing what this thing did. If I didn't get a sound out of it in 10 minutes, I'd kind of get bored and move on. On, the, on, like on, the, on this record, David is very into that and was kind of uh, pushing me to kind of, let's make this guitar not sound like a guitar and be creative with the technology. He just got it like straight away and all this gold just started sort of, you know, coming out of the amplifier and it was like, this is, this is really exciting. And we just started really just enjoying the process and not thinking too much about it. I don't know, maybe he thought I was more conservative in my taste than I am, you know what I mean? Which, I'm aware that most people do think that. You know, it, it was so loose. It was like, what does this pedal do? And what does that sound like? And, you know, then we would just record a bunch of stuff. You know, a lot of the time we didn't even know what it sounded like, but we knew it sounded good. 
and then by the end of that first week, I'd say two thirds of the album were done in that first five days. I think if you make a record that splits opinion, it, it's a good thing, as long as it's a good record. If you've been around a long time, you're always gonna have people who are gonna, you know, mouth off and have certain kinds of opinions if you sort of like, you know, break out of the norm a little bit. That's understandable, but people like to have a moan anyway. The spirit of what he does, I think, is, which is the key thing, is, is still there, you know. And the proof really is when you go to his gigs and the audience really do genuinely love the new stuff. Considering the kind of love that's there for his old stuff, he's doing all right. There was just a lot of things just fell out of the sky and landed on our lap, you know, we kind of like, we were really on a mission with this record and everybody was just trying to be as creative as possible, but ultimately make an album felt natural and right for Noel, do you know what I mean? It kind of, nothing actually happened that was kind of, you know, it's a very different record for him, but I think it was always coming. It was like this, this record was always in the post. You know, it's, got a, it's just got a really, really positive kind of feeling. You know, it's got like a modern sort of psychedelic record, you know. I, I, I don't think he'll be able to work any other way again, because it was actually really exciting for him and sometimes a bit chaotic. But, you know, he could always see that we were getting these great results and it just had to evolve naturally into what it sort of became.